This is the BHI Terror Watch, where you know where we stand and you know who we worship, where we uplift the name of the one true Father the Great I Am, and we uplift the name of the Son, God the Son, the one true God all by himself, my Lord, our Lord and the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right, Jesus. And we uplift the one and only Holy Spirit, the one and only Holy Trinity, the Trinity, the one true God, three persons, one holy and righteous God. And we give ye double honors to our elders that have taught us the way and greetings and salutation to all of the brethren and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ that walk the Christian walk and life the Christian life in honor, humility, spirit, sincerity and truth. And to all the sinners, skeptics and non-believers and especially to all you black, Hebrew, Israelites, greetings to you too as you may have the opportunity to be enlightened by the communications of this video and possibly adopt the Berean spirit. This is a message to all you black so-called so-named Hebrew Israelites. You by keeping the laws of Moses are going backwards into the Old Testament. Jesus Christ is the end of the law. Salvation is by faith now. No matter how righteous you guys may feel, at the end of the day, your righteousness is no different than that of the Pharisees, the ones that crucified Christ. Wake up and go towards the light. You're not qualified. You aren't operating in the power of the Holy Spirit. Only true believers, repentant and born again. You're going backward. There's no more temple. True believers are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The only way to please the Father is to listen to His Son, Jesus Christ. The law ended with Christ. We're under grace. God's riches at Christ's expense. Unless you're born again you'll likewise perish in your own righteousness and sin. Today is the day of salvation. Choose you this day whom you will serve. You bring Hebrew means nothing now. Your ancestors could not follow the law. The entire Old Testament is a record of the Hebrews disobeying God at every chance they had. Don't believe me. Read it yourself. Deuteronomy chapter 8, the entire chapter is devoted to explain their judgment, example. Verses 20, as the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face, so shall you perish. Because you would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. And guess what? You, Hebrew Israelites, are doing the same exact thing. Trying to work out your own salvation with your own righteousness. That's what's going to be your undoing. You guys don't listen. You're trying to be self-righteous, and it's only by the blood of the Lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ, that salvation is offered through His blood. Period. Unless you're filled with the Holy Spirit, how are you guided? Led, taught, given revelation in God's Holy Word? You're not. You're operating only by your carnal flesh. And on that judgment day, when you stand before the Lord, you'll cry, Lord, Lord. And you'll exclaim your own righteousness. And then Jesus will say to you, Depart from me, you worker of iniquity, for I never knew you. It's about relationship with the risen Savior. Not having a religion of laws and rules. God's law is written on our hearts. God's word is sure and truth. What you're following with your Hebrew brothers is not. The black Hebrew Israelite leaders were talking to you. Elder Taha, the man who never met a nine-year-old girl he didn't want to rape, commanding degenerate Yad Hannah, give him a plate of food and a couple of fat behind heifers and he will be second to Christ. Elder Nathan Yell, the crooked cop, the Raka Ashar, the Mr. Hebrew one, the lying moral hypocrite, the Bishop Yadfar, the lone star liar, the chief high priest, the Lazaban lawyer, Gurila Hebrew the fake Levite, the fake priest Zabak, who arrogantly says he got next, next for what? The pains of hell, and foots who they all are the pastors of hell. And the pastors from hell will have a lot to account for if they do not repent and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right Jesus.
Jesus, you don't want to send your followers to hell, so you better take heed, repent and come to Jesus. The time is now and the price is always right. Repent, believe, come to Jesus.